Hello. So in this video, we want to apply uh, functions that will be able to mask cloud and cloud shadows from Landsat 9 collections. And this is important because uh, the Landsat 9 is just released and uh, as hands-on goes, people say using this Landsat 9, so it's important to also show how we can mask out cloud and then uh, people can use the cloud-free images for the analysis. So uh, let's find this Landsat 9. Uh, collection and try to visualize it to see uh, what this cloud we're talking about. Uh, okay, so I'll look for us at nine. Okay. You have to be patient. Uh, so because Google Ads Engine can be sometimes slow. So these are the clouds. Uh, this is what we are trying to um, mask out. Uh, just to show more of it, I just want to copy uh, the collection itself. Uh, I want these two guys. And uh, then I can go to my original tab. And I can start. So we can see variable, we can see last at 9 uh, collection. And uh, we have the all right, and I also want to be able to add function that help me visualize it once at night. So I will still map to add layer, and this would be. Yeah. But I won't be able to, I, I want to do that for a particular, uh, I don't want to do that for the entire coverage. So I just want to get an AI object so I can be able to visualize it just for a certain. Okay, so I have to run this, we run this script again. Okay. asking for authentication that's fine so we have this problem happening sometimes so it's fine uh, we just have to go back again and have our last at night collection and I'm missing one EE here so I'm gonna add to this stuff so and uh, there we go again So that's good practice to refresh and run your code from scratch. Uh, refresh your uh, your Google Ads Engine uh, working interface before you start this kind of work. All right, so I will draw my AOI again, and then we have I have the geometry. So um, I don't like using the geometry directly, so I can pass it into a new variable and I call it AOI. Uh, this is the reason is because I like to uh, change uh, new uh, new areas so I can select ge geometry that cover new regions and that way I don't have to keep changing the name and changing my code uh, to just keep updating. So I'm going to say here I will say uh, dot filter bounds and I'll filter by my AOI and uh, run this code okay so this is what we have okay let's visualize and see so okay i want to see this in first color composite so i can do that in two ways but i like to uh, use this approach so i'm going to do a five four three combination and i want to keep it between zero and and uh, 0.4 yeah so these are the clouds we're talking about so I want to be able to want to be able to mask out these clouds in this image but let me import the visualization because I uh, we're going to use it uh, for subsequent 
analysis. So, okay, I just want to take it from here. And I'd like to save uh, the claim available, and then I can come here, I can pass it into my parameter, and I can call this my max L9 collection. Uh, yeah. Okay, so let's visualize this and see. Cool, here we go. So I can delete this visualization parameter and run it again. That's fine. So now we can start masking the cloud. We're good to go. I like to use a conventional pattern, but I can tweak it once in a while and then I can say, okay. So this is a function. To mass cloud. So I'm going to declare a variable. I'll say get the uh, QA bit, and I will show you that in a second. Uh, before I continue, I will show you what I want to do here, so I can go to. Um, I can search my Lancer 9 again and uh, show you what I want to do. So I want to be able to use the various bands. All right, here we go. I want to use this guy and uh, I want to use the bit flags um, that has the cloud, which is the bit 3. I want to use the bit 4 that has the cloud shadow and I want to also address the um, the cloud shadow confidence, which is bit 10 and, 10 and 11. And I'm going to set this 10 11 to 1, which is low confidence. And then I will set the uh, cloud, the bit 4 and bit 3 to 0, which is uh, no cloud. Uh, yeah, no cloud. So that, that's what we're going to do. So let's go back to our task there. So I'm writing this function that takes in the image, takes in the, 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 the the, the start and the end of the um, of the scenes, and then also um, return it to a new uh, new image, which I call new name. So let's go. Uh, I have to do this function. See, pass on the image. So we set a bit extent. And how do we do that? We can say variable use a pattern starting from the beginning, which is going to be zero.
Okay, we've gotten the bit extent, and then we have to um, pass it into a new name. So I take this guy and uh, they're going to change all the bits uh, that we want to pick into zero. Hopefully, that will help us to mask, mask the, the, the cloud there. And this would be uh, So we need this pattern. And we also need to try to finish up the inner function. There's a whole documentation on this uh, if you want to get hands on and this and um, how this works. Okay, so now we have to uh, start. Um, now we have declared this uh, git uh, QA bits uh, function from which we can now use to mask uh, the cloud and the cloud shadow. So let's get the function for the cloud and then function for the cloud shadow and then we can uh, update the mask. Okay, so we will see cloud pixels. We need the QA band, and uh, then we can see image the select. So we go back to our uh, data metadata to understand this. So we need this guy, QA pixel, and uh, we go here. Okay. So what do we do? So we return we tell this guy keep here. So initially when I showed you, I told you about this 3 being cloud and then 4 being cloud shadow. So we're going to, uh, now we need it, the information. Uh, we'll pass it in as 3 and 4. Those are the bit flags we need. And um, assign the name as cloud. And then we have to change it to 0. Okay.
So we need to also set the cloud uh, shadow confidence. So we say the cloud confidence, right? And we can just copy this code here and then reuse it. But we have to change the parameters there. So uh, this will be cloud confidence. And uh, we need to change uh, the QA. You remember then for the cloud confidence, we have it as 10 and 11. So we have here, we have 10, 11, and this will be, um, I can leave it as class shadow. You can, you can leave it as, let's leave it as class shadow. And then we have to set it as one, which is the low level there. And, uh, we set it as one to the low confidence. If we set it as zero, it's going to you might likely return dark or no image. So we, we set it as one there. And let's run to see if we have any box so far. I think we are good. This is the the old image. So now we want to be able to um, update the mask and put them all into um, into a single uh, function there. So combine the functions there. So we're going to have um, so we can see mask L9 clouds. So this would be uh, we'll say a function image. And then we can have um, so. We begin with the uh, with this cloud pixels, so we can call it CP cloud pixels, and that will be we use um, we use this guy. And then we also use the cloud confidence for this CC, and that will be this guy. So that's been saved. We have it as image, and then we can then update. So we call the image, and we say image. Update. We use this guy. The first one. And we can return an updated return the updated masks by using a class confidence all right All right, so we're good to go. Uh, let me run the code to see if we have any bug. Oh, we are fine. Uh, this is the initial image we have. So I'm going to copy this guy and uh, bring it down here. So, oh, I will do.
So what I want to do next is to reduce the image um, maybe using main, uh, which is a common one. So I'll say uh, reduce image by main. Uh, this will be let's see and I. max and uh, that would be me using this guy so come here Got me. this is not necessary if you don't have to if you don't want to you don't have to do this but um, I like to keep it simple and then here I want to be able to update my mask, so I will say dot map. I want to be able to map through using my uh, my cloud, my uh, function that to mask the cloud. And uh, here I'm going to copy this guy, and I need this guy. This would be masks. And this will be max and my image because I've reduced it I'm gonna change it to image it's not on my collection um, and then I need this guy so this will be a max and I image And then I want to set them to zero so they can draw quickly and they can turn on toggle on and off and hopefully the parameter is fine and I have everything the control and here I'm gonna hit the run and see how we perform okay so I don't have a problem here so I will turn on the on max image and uh, turn it off turn the max image to see so we see we've maxed out the cloud at this point so let me leave this finite and let's turn it so you can see how much we've achieved in terms of uh, masking out the cloud there and uh, you see the clouds Yeah, so this is it. We, we have the, the cloud masked out and uh, you can see those pocket of holes. And this is the image that uh, we don't have. All right, let me know what you think. Uh, leave a comment uh, if you have uh, a comment section and then uh, hopefully just a way to probably um, you think of improving the codes, that's fine. Uh, but let me know what you think. Thank you so much.